have decided to extend the IUI camp for the month of June as well. Patients have been extremely happy and we have been able to give them good success rates due to which we have decided to increase the time for this IUI camp. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Swarshla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Let's see the association between uterine scarring and infertility. What is uterine scarring and how does it cause infertility? Now, uterine scarring is also called as uh, adhesions. They are nothing but fibrous tissues that are growing on the functional lining of the uterus. These result in improper blood supply to the uterus, thereby causing infertility. But let's try to understand the uterus first. So the uterus is made up of three layers. The outer shell is called as the serosa. The inner layer uh, next to the serosa is the myometrium. It is muscular and it has a very uh, important role to play during the time of uh, pregnancy and delivery. The innermost layer is called the endometrium and that's the functional layer. That's the layer that sheds during periods and also is the most critical layer for implantation of the embryo. So these are the layers of the, uh, the uterus and endometrium is where these scar tissues are formed. The uterine scarring that we are talking about is caused by any trauma to this endometrial layer. It could be a previous surgery or it could be any inflammation. Let's see the causes behind uterine scarring. One could be a surgical one and second could be, you know, natural causes. Let's look at some of them. A surgical causes could be, you know, previous caesarean in section or a um, dilatation and curettage or a myomectomy, all these reasons could have, all these uh, procedures could have resulted in some scarring of the endometrial layer. A natural cause could be an endometritis, as in uh, uh, any infection to that layer of the uterus, the endometrium, or it could be because of infections caused due to chlamydia or gonorrhea, you know, some, some infections that hit that uh, endometrial layer. These cause additions as well. Now, any uterine scarring that result in symptoms is called Asherman syndrome. Now, these patients have very scanty flow or they have a painful uh, periods pattern and the blood flow to this uh, uterus is also minimal. Therefore, the growth of this endometrium is very less, which results in improper functioning of this endometrial layer, which means what? Improper bleeding and lower chance of pregnancy because there is improper blood flow to the endometrium. The embryo also fails to implant there. Even if it does, the miscarriage rate is very high. Now, the treatment depends um, on the severity. If it is very severe, surgical intervention is required where the scars are removed and the chance of success after such scar removal is also very high. Now, the removal of uterine scars should be done only by specialists and the success rate has seen to be drastically improved after the, scarrings, the scars are removed where um, a previous scarring and removal resulted in a pregnancy rate of about 40 to 80 percent and a live birth rate of about 30 to 70 percent. So uterine scarring depending on the severity when removed can result in very good success rate. If you have further questions about this and would like to clarify, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.